everyone and welcome to Gaming Boulevard on Point. Today was our third day at Gamescom. It was our third day for me and Lander, but for uh, Yuri it was the second day. Again, we've had our appointments, we've had a couple of games that we played. Um, so let's start by the beginning. Yordi, what was the best game for you today and what was the you say that like I only played one game, but I actually played three. So, <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I'd probably say uh, Final Fantasy Fifteen. Best or worst? Best. Okay. Okay. Well. Though the 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 weird thing, like everything f felt uh, really fun. The combat was uh, it wasn't super in depth, but it was fun. Like switching from the big slow broadsword to a quicker. Uh, uh, just smaller sword and a spear that felt really good and the the teleporting and the the moves the abilities everything was really fun but there was a weird thing going on with the demo in that it looked really bad the textures were very blurry the the grass was very pixelated models looked really muddy uh People have been saying this game looks amazing, and I've seen footage, it looks amazing, but for some reason this this build was like, if you took Final Fantasy XV on PC and put all the settings to yeah. it looked really bad for some reason. But I feel like it's it's the same build as, as the presentation at E3, because that remember that scene with, with the big boss? No. We both, you don't? The Titan. No. With the Titan? Come on, dude, we talked about it. Because we said... It looks amazing, but eventually it looks more like a tech demo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From no, the not this year. From e the no, E3, it was E3. E3 this year. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Vaguely. Okay. He Didn't leave an remember, impression. But so you know what yeah, I'm no, talking about. You know yeah, what yeah, I know about. what you're talking it, about. It, for me, it looked like like it was constantly a tech demo. Yeah. So, and what was your worst game? Uh, worst was Resident Evil Seven on VR. Um, what? yeah. It was nominated. Uh, the, one of the biggest the games, best of the show, yeah. but that's probably from the people who haven't played the actual VR thing. Because the the what I played was the demo that's out now on PlayStation uh, for PlayStation Plus subscribers, and uh, but in VR, and apparently it doesn't have that much to do with Resident Evil aside from it's like a prologue thingy, but it it doesn't connect with the main game that much. It doesn't really show the gameplay of uh, Resident Evil Seven. But the problem was, and I've heard this from a lot of people there, was um, that game, when you have the VR headset on, everything in the distance gets kind of pixelated and, mm. and, and flickers. And I've played that game for 15 minutes, and uh, one of the people there asked me to stop because my time was, uh, I, I ran, out, ran out of time, and I was so happy because I was going to throw up. I was oh, literally okay. going to throw up. I, <laughs> yeah, I and not only that, but like again, PlayStation VR, it's a pretty competent machine, but it's it's when you wear it in a convention, you realize you're not going to wear that for long in like hot summer days. I think the HTC is tweaked better than, than the VR, I believe. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Um, but yeah, like still, the VR aspect of it works when I'm in the room, even though it's all pixelated and I got I got a headache and I start to feel nauseous. I still like it. Still had a, had a good effect on me. It was this microwave with a dead crow in it? And when I see when I saw it, it's like, oh yeah, that's spooky. All right, it, it it's still like when I'm walking around and looking at like mm -hmm. a dead whore, um, a dead. Um, Cow carcass. I, I'm still like, okay, that's that's gross, but uh, it's very disorienting using. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very disorienting using the left and right stick to turn mm. your your head, but uh, then using your head to look around. But also, you're, you're you're using the control, not the move. No, it's it's so you have the headset, you've got the controller, mm. you that's walk you walk weird. around with the control stick, and then but yeah. it kind of breaks the immersion of virtual reality. Um, yeah, the idea yeah. is that you well, it's it's one of those games you have to sit down. The, the VR thing, it's not a not as much a VR game as a VR enhanced mm. game. Uh, when you're playing with the controller, the control stick is to move, and uh, what usually is the case is your headset is supposedly the analog stick to look yeah, around yeah. in the first person shooter. But in Resident Evil, and I've heard a few other games, 
uh, well, you can't look uh, up and down with the analog stick. You can't. You have to look left and right. Mm -hmm. So there's this weird thing when you press and hold right and you do this. You get this weird thing and it, it doesn't really sound really. that great. Right? No, it's it's no, VR it's not. enhanced. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not, not native VR. It, it really makes Maybe. me skeptical of the whole thing because even if Resident Evil Seven turns out to be a great game, this is one of the games that people are like. This is why I need to get a PlayStation mm. VR headset. The entire game is going to be playable in that way. And it's like, I, I really don't want to play more than what I play because I got literally nauseous. And that's not something mm. that But happens. who knows? Maybe it, 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 they'll fix it before... Yeah, if they fix it, it if they fix it, it's, uh, it's going to be amazing. Because, again, like, even though I got... So you're sick, actually a fan of the game, but you're not a fan of how they actually implemented mm, yeah. it with the VR, yeah. the linking. Okay. Understandable. Yeah, because I know... It, for me as well, I think the the right analog it, it is it's kind of a your instinct feeling that you mm -hmm. know okay with right stick I have to to move my head around but with the VR it doesn't mm. seem necessary I mean it, it's weird it's yeah really it's awesome. really weird okay so Lander what about you best game you played a lot hmm. today yeah no I was oh, going yeah, to okay. play a lot but then I went to EA and I didn't play a lot. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. we had to have appointments which I had but apparently they didn't have so I didn't play what really and Titanfall 2 which I was really excited to play was a presentation mm. so I didn't play a lot it looks like you're a fan I'm a fan I'm a of fan. EA <laughs> I love them yeah okay no but that seriously that they have good games but let them let them be playable for, for us as well. Okay? okay, but I think that's a discussion for another yeah, uh, video. The best game of today, yeah, um, I was thinking about the name. It's a game I played at the Band Dynamico stand, the indie, what, what was it called? The, the horror. Oh, yeah, uh, Little Nightmares. Yeah, 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 thank you, Little Nightmares. Yeah, why? Because it's it, it's it's one of the, the only games that, that's really new here at Gamescom. So Wasn't it recently released or announced? No, 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 no it, it, it was announced. announced. It, was really. teased. it was yeah. teased by, by Nanemco. They're going to have a surprise party at, at Gamescom. Turned out it was Little Nightmares, the game. Um, I like it. It's an indie game that Bandai Namco will publish, so they didn't develop it. But... The entire atmosphere about the game is is, is genius. I I don't know the story. The, the small demo was you were a little girl in, in yellow and you were walking inside a house of of a, of a monstrous uh, creature. Creature, yeah. The creature was cooking so but once he saw you he wants to eat you, so you have to sneak past it. But the creature is real, really smart, so if you move or you, you Step into the light. He noticed the difference and come and comes and, at you. And it's about the details as well in the little nightmare yeah. game because the thing the, I liked most was the way they they showed me what I needed to do. So besides the yellow character, there were also smaller gray ones, and they were running. They were running underneath a uh, closet. So then I knew, oh, I can hide over there. Or at one moment, a gray creature climbed on top yeah. of a closet and showed me the exits. So it's a really smart and intuitive way of a tutorial. It doesn't feel like a tutorial. It feels like those guys are helping me out. Yeah, yeah that's the best so way. yeah, and the yeah. the atmosphere of the game is is brilliant. Yeah, I have really a soft like spot that, for yeah. indies and especially indies like that. It's the game that left uh, the best impression. But isn't it uh, the environment? It's it's also a big deal, right? Because yeah. I, I've I've seen him play the game, and and it was with uh, the spoon. Um, at, at, the, at the end of the, the closet, yeah. you ran past it and you thought, yes, I've completed yeah, the whole but thing, it, but the, the spoon the, the bounced physics against engine, the, the physics yeah. engine is, is strong, I didn't Main expect it, it from an indie, so I thought, okay, I'm going to run underneath this closet, the spoon, whatever, but I, I slightly touched it and it, it moved, making the sound, and then the creature noticed. And it's also this. realistic, because at one time you were hiding uh, beneath a, a closet, yeah. but then there was this table, but the table was a bit higher, yeah, so the table it's was realistic. That there were open spots, so yeah. he, he saw me. Yeah. In other games, you know, like Metal Gear Solid, for example, you can get past guards like, whoa, yeah. you don't okay. see me. But now they see you, so that that's that's. It that's looks cool. like they're going for the, like the game, the Evil Within. 
That was also yeah. very yeah. sneaky. Bit and, the same, yeah, maybe. It, it, but it's it, another event. It got it's me by yeah. surprise, actually. Okay. I wasn't expecting to be surprised by, by a game like that. Because I played triple A games today. It has a lot I of played, potential and, and yeah. quality. I played mm. Forza Horizon 3, what really looked amazing, but yet I say little nightmares for today as my top game. And what's worse? The worst is, huh, yeah. Huh. The worst today was yeah basically the. the what was your disappointment? EA I was disappointed at the A. I not not necessarily their games, but just the way how they approach things. It's it's like fun. It's like yeah, look, we have Battlefield, we have Titanfall two, and it's all amazing, but. You have to do a lot to really get your hands on them. On the on the show floor, yeah. it's the same. There, the lines are 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 insane. The way. But it's they also handle. not logical that you get to stick it that grants you access yeah. to their booth. But then you go to that no. booth, you have an appointment, everything is settled, and then suddenly you can't play the game that's in the booth yeah, because was, you don't have an appointment specifically for that. That was disappointing. And Justice Two. Yeah, I want to. And Justice Two looked very unfinished so it was really the the, the concept is cool yeah. right uh dc characters fighting each other just like injustice one did but it, it felt really unfinished so i played it it was pre-alpha i'm guessing or even uh, and they're actually doing their very best to to get get it some attention yeah because... and they're, they're hiding the flaws so there are great cinematics you have the super moves yeah. they look amazing the the victory move is like in super slow motion so it's cool but they're hiding the failures yeah. beneath underneath their system so yeah and justice to not not really convinced yet yeah well uh, my best game because uh, I didn't play play a lot of games uh, today but uh, I got my hands on the, the VR uh, the Vive, which, one? which Vive. yeah, Vive, which was amazing. It was my first time actually uh, to use uh, the Vive, oh, yeah. but I was a bit disappointed with, uh, yeah, the, the with, demos. Uh, with the demos because it was very basic. It was like okay, first one was Fruit Ninja. I had two katanas. It was pretty yeah. cool, but then the second game was tennis. The, the third game was again tennis, but with playing with yourself. And then you had like sh a shooting game. So it's it's not. I wasn't. Actually, uh, overwhelmed with. Mm. Uh, but the tech is great. great. The tech yeah, is the great. tech is great. But actually, this is just this is actually my disappointing thing of, of the whole day. But I think the best game that was um, Halo Wars Two. Yeah. Oh yeah, check Halo Wars. Um, so we got our hands on uh, this new mode. It's called Stronghold. It was uh, a, actually a pretty neat mode. Um, it, it, you know, Halo Wars is, is like an RTS mm -hmm. uh, kind of game. You actually have to build things. We have this mode stronghold that learns you the rope in how to counterattack things. So you have different bases. Okay. You start with a base, you have a limited amount of resources, but in the base game, you actually have to gain resources and, and etc. But uh, in stronghold, you have different bases that need to be captured. The team, which it's uh, three versus three, so the team that has the most base. Uh, this wins actually the game, but it was actually to learn how to counterattack with, with, with everything you've got. I mean, it, a cool feature was a commander ability. So you choose a commander in the beginning of the game, and you just, uh, they have these orbital attacks, they have this um, scouting maneuvers, they have this healing area, mm -hmm. but each commander has its different abilities. But it was fun to, to actually, yeah, learn a couple of things because the, the counterattack. I mean, you have to learn in, in these kind of mm, games, and it's, sure. it's a good way to, to, to actually get, uh, get to know these things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, let's wrap this thing up, because uh, last time it got a bit out of hand. Yeah, um, a bit too long, yeah. We're not trying to do that, that that's uh, another discussion we have. But, um, so yeah, this, these were our impressions for the third day. Yeah. Hopefully you're enjoying these, uh, this project of, your, uh, of ours. Um, and yeah, like it, thumbs up. Or thumbs down. And tomorrow, Hopefully another not. day, the last, the last day of day. appointments. Some big games coming up, so we'll be discussing them as yeah. well. Ooh, we're still uh, yeah. uploading a couple of videos. Yeah, yeah our, uh, we have actually not a lot of videos. Yeah, yeah and a lot of impressions yeah. too on, on our site. It's insane. Yeah, it's, it's like No Man's Sky. If you want to read it, you will spend like years. <laughs>
but it's worth probably. it. Probably. All right. So, like okay. No Man's Sky. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, see you next time. Hopefully tomorrow. Uh, same yeah. channel, but probably a different hour. So, probably. Goodbye, Bye. guys.